what you see in here is not just um, fire made by the people living here this is fire coming from the ground you wouldn't know how it's formed it's it's actually a natural gas or you can call it the natural fire developed from the stones it wasn't lit by the people here it's just coming from the dump and um, the heat under the ground in the ground is actually bringing up this fire it's 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 a source of livelihood for the people here they cook with it they, they live with it as their natural gas a couple of people think that this actually comes from the dump and the heat under the ground we're here today to talk to the lady who lives just close to this fire actually she has been living with this natural fire from the ground for a year now and um, she's willing to talk to us about the effect of the dump in her house it's the BSC, yeah, 24 hours. What would you do? The BBI, a cab and cool, a BBI, and quite hasty, and no more. A chin, I'm BBI, say, be at me also. Now, what did you say, Joey? Hey, Joey, a ball and more heat, you know. A ball and more heat, you know. If you say, Tom almost started some over to ball and a gun, or penny back, which I say, dear, me, Hannah Motieno. Ball and a bit me and my gas, I may use one week and I say two weeks, but may use more than one year. You know, ball and heat, you know. The people here may see the fire as the least of their worries because it provides free gas, but such natural gas formed from garbage can be extremely dangerous. It may not be healthy to cook with, and with the smallest disturbance, it could even explode at any time. Also, since the landfill produces so much heat, could there be a way to capture this? As usable energy in a place where waste management and consistent energy reliability are huge issues such innovations could possibly solve both problems at once